You know, is that, is that a single or a double? Sorry, secret recipe. Whoa. What? Nothing. Uh, Dante, this is Sophie McKay. She's the owner. Sophie, Dante, Holland the mixologist. <laughs> nice to meet you, Sophie. <laughs> What's that you're making? The best martini you will ever have tasted. Oh. Well, I haven't really tasted that many. If any, to tell the truth, I'm not really a martini kind of girl. You will be after this one. Trust me. Well, I look forward to it. Oh, sorry, I'm just coming back to the desk now. I it's didn't OK. Take all the time you need. Mum's furious. I know it's because she wants the best for me, but... Bella, I am very sorry I told you, Mum. It just came out. It I... had to come out sooner or later. Mum! Wendy! I know it's none of my business, but Bella is extremely upset. She's upset. She wanted to finish the course more than anything. She's very disappointed in herself, and she thought that you would feel the same way, but she couldn't bear the thought of letting you down. Is that true, Bella? Not really. I didn't want to finish the course because I hated it. I just made the biggest mistake, but I did hate letting you down. That's true. Totally true, because you work so hard and I... But she wants to make it up to you. I do. I'm not going to waste my life. I'm going to get a full-time job, a good one. I told Yvonne that this morning. She did? She started applying already. I'm going to make you proud again. I promise. Bella, I'm always proud. But to find out you lied to me. I was just so scared of how you'd react. Well, am I that much of a monster? Oh, of course not. Okay, now, in case your compass isn't working, the bar is this way. Oh, ha, ha. Welcome, guys. Can I interest you in a martini? This is Dante, our visiting mixologist, and because you guys are such loyal customers, first round is free. Awesome. <laughs> if we like you, you can stay. <laughs> Three, please. Oh, hey, would you like a martini like a real traditional one made by a professional? So this is stage one of your big plans, huh? Sorry? Well, I heard about your vision for this place. Did you? Don't worry, I'm not going to tell you what to do or not to do. Your business, your decisions. That's quite correct, actually. Are you divorcing me already? I want to stand in the middle of town and shout our engagement, but I'm not allowed, and I don't know how much longer I can take it. So? So, we are going to Christchurch tonight. <laughs> Look, this way we can get my family out of the way, then you can spend all your time doing what you told Chris you would do. Relax. With my fiancé. Oh, say it again. My fiancé. Us two. Relaxing in your parents' spare bedroom. Trying to keep our voices down so your dad's... Hey, ready. don't spoil it for me. Anyway, we are going to be late and I can't find that pair of thermal socks that I bought for you the other day. Or maybe in the laundry. I'll have a look in the hot water cupboard. OK. find my warmest jersey, so thank you. Scotty? Nothing. You OK? Uh, you know socks in there. I'll, I'll have a look in the bedroom. I can do it. Hey! <laughs> 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 These cocktails are going off to plan, so. Uh, don't give me that. Mm. Hey? You thought my ideas were so crap that you went running to my father. What? Oh. Okay, I, I was worried. Your, your ideas were really expensive. You have to oh. know. So I make my first mistake, and now thanks to you, my dad knows all about it. It wasn't like I was knocking. I was just concerned. Well, then you come to me, nobody else. Right. Got it. Well, have you really? Yeah, of course. Because I'm in charge here. And if you don't like the way I'm running things, then maybe you should find another job. <laughs> Oh, Yvonne, you look shocking. Oh, thank you for that. 
That's true, though. I'm dead on my feet. Carrying Bella's workload, dealing with her emotional problems, her family crises. Mm, well, lucky her contract is finished, so the minute she walks out that door, it's bye-bye, Bella. Mm. Between you and me, I can't wait. Bye, Yvonne. Thank you so much for everything you've done. You've been amazing. It was my pleasure. Lovely to work with you, Bella. Night, Yvonne. Night, Gerald. It was a white lie. It'll encourage her to get another job, preferably far away. Uh, Bella, just a moment, please. Uh, I haven't had a chance to clear this with Yvonne yet, but as she speaks so highly of you, Bella... Callum! Would you be interested in the permanent position here? Oh, my God, yes! You have no idea what incredible timing this is. Oh. 